kind of want to introduce the topic here by talking a little bit about manure and how right now, like as it's excreted from the animal and after storage, it's not really in a form that provides the exact nutri nutrient ratios that crops might need. So um, during my time, we have helped farmers develop nutrient management plans. And we're often looking at manure and how can they balance their nitrogen and phosphorus needs with the manure. So in this example here, I have two different cases. This is a dairy farmer who wanted to apply manure to his corn crop, and this is in a continuous corn system. And we were walking through the different ways he can utilize his manure, either as a nitrogen-based rate, so supplying all the nitrogen to the corn that he might need, or at a phosphorus-based rate, and that would be a lower rate, supplying as much phosphorus as needed for the crop. So what we see here in the black outlines shows you the crop needs for his particular corn crop. Now he had applied dairy manure the year before, so this blue area of the bar shows you how much of a nitrogen credit was provided from that. And then using soil tests um, for phosphate and potash, he was able to determine how much his crop would need for that. So say he applies his manure at a rate that would supply all the nitrogen. So that's why you see the rest of the box is filled in yellow. That's how much nitrogen is supplied by the manure. In that case, he would over apply phosphorus by almost double what the crop needed. And potash would be, have a little bit more of a appli higher application as well. So in this case, you're utilizing all the nitrogen, but you're kind of over applying phosphorus and potash. And that could be used for future crops, but it is something that will need to be monitored in the soil test values. On the other hand, say the farmer wanted to spread the manure on more land and utilize some of the crop or soil health benefits of manure on more land, then he could have applied his manure at a lower rate so that he met all of his phosphorus needs, which you can see at this line here. But the rest of the bars have this red area and the red area denotes how much commercial fertilizer he would have to add in order to meet the nitrogen and uh, potash needs of that particular crop. So, Again, that's the one thing with manure is it's a great nutrient source, but a lot of times the nutrients are not in the ratios that the crops might actually need. So that is kind of the basis of this seminar is how can we get designer manure or manure in ways or add nutrients in ways that we can get what the crops actually need without over or under applying one or another nutrient. 